In this video, we continue to explore the three-dimensional visualization by uh, adding some vector data and decorations. So to add the vector data, let's switch to map layers and add streams and some vector point data and we will add stream gauges which are stored as USGS gauges. Now to change the symbols and adjust the uh, vectors, we switch to 3D view. And in 3D view, we can select the streams and adjust the line parameters. For example, we can make the lines wider or thinner. And we can change the color of the lines. And we can also adjust the height above surface. This is sometimes useful when the rendering of the line is not quite continuous. It's you can put it a little bit above the surface and, and uh, uh, it will be more complete. Now to adjust the symbols for the point data, we switch to USGS gauges and we can change the color of the symbol, let's say to red so that we can see it better. And we can also adjust the size Again, we can adjust the height above the surface and we can select a different symbol, for example, diamond. Now we can add some decorations. In appearance, we can add fringe to the south and southeast edge as we will be uh, rotating the view and let's just put the fringe a little bit lower let's say at 45 meters elevation we can adjust the view And under appearance, we can add the north arrow. We will just keep it black. And we can add the scale bar. Here we can type the length of the scale bar. Length. Just make it 2,000 to kilometers and we will just place the scale bar here and you will have to add the text through the text here. Now let's uh, display a raster with different color. So let's go to surface and let's change to land class and let's remove the vector data let's add a legend so the legend is, uh, is added the same way as we do for two-dimensional maps so add map elements 
good lighting. Set options. Let's make sure that we have lined glass. And under optional, we will put Now we will save the, save the image. Now what we can do, we can also save the command that will recreate this image. And it, will be, it is here by clicking this uh, um, icon and the generate command for mn this image. So here you can see n.n this image, which is all the parameters that uh, can be used to recreate this image. So you can save it, you can copy and paste it into a text file, or you can save it here directly. 